Hi and welcome. My name is Eric Andre and today I'm going to show you how to connect Microsoft Excel to MongoDB using the CData ODBC driver. For this tutorial, I'm going to create my sample data using MongoLab. If you already have your own data, you can just skip this part and just move the video ahead a little bit. MongoLab just makes it super easy to set up and post onto the cloud, including on Amazon, Google, and Microsoft Azure. Now they also provide a free account to play with, so let's get one of those going. Click on Get Started. Now you'll need an account, so if you don't have one, create one. I already have mine, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Once you're logged in, you'll want to create a database. Click on Create New. And here you can see you have your choices from Amazon, Google, or Windows Azure. I'm going to create the single node uh, free sandbox account, which gives you half a gigabyte. Give your database a name and click on create. Now I've already created a sample database, so I'm just going to go back to that. Once you have your database up and running, you'll need to add a collection. Simply click on add collection, give the collection a name. And I'm just going to call mine restaurants. And now we're ready to add some data. I'm just going to grab some of the sample data that you can find up on mongodb.org. To add the data, just click on your collection and then add document. Now you'd probably want to just go ahead and import all the data at once if you're running a local version or directly to the cloud. But for this sample, I'm just going to enter the documents one at a time. Once your data has been entered, you'll want to grant some access to it. You do that by creating a user. Go back to your database, click on Users, Create Add, and just enter a user and a password. And that's it for the data. Now that we have some data, the next thing that we need to do is install the driver. So let's navigate over to cdata.com where we can download a free trial. There's a couple of ways to navigate the website. I'm going to do so by technology, choose ODBC, then group my list and navigate down to the MongoDB driver. Click on the right top side for free trial and then download. Enter an email address. Click on Run and install the driver with all the default settings. By default, once you click Finish, the Windows ODBC Data Source Administrator will launch and you can configure your data source. We'll enter the username and password that we created earlier. The server, port, and database name we can get back from MongoLab. If you look near the top left of your database,
Now the port is actually the first numbers here found in the server name. Scroll down for our database and we called ours CData test. And now test your connection to make sure everything is working okay. And there we have it, successful connection. Now that we have our ODBC DSN all set up, we can use it to access our MongoDB data for doing analysis, reporting, data cleansing, etc. from all sorts of applications like Tableau, Power BI, and of course Microsoft Excel. Let's start by creating a new workbook. To add data to our spreadsheet, click on the Data tab, click on Get External Data, choose from other sources, from the Data Connection Wizard, choose ODBC, DSN, and then choose the CData MongoDB source that we created earlier. Select the Restaurants table. Give your source a name and then finish. Click OK to add. And there you have it. Our data is ready to use. I'm just going to randomly sort by one of the columns then select a range of data and insert a chart so we can visualize our data. You may have noticed that some of the columns contain JSON. MongoDB is a NoSQL data store with a schemaless data model. So by default, the driver scans a user-defined number of rows, automatically discovers column names and data types, then flattens object hierarchies, and reports arrays as JSON aggregates. The driver is very flexible though and allows you to model the data any way you want. For example, you can use custom schema definitions to project your chosen relational structure on top of a MongoDB object. This will allow you to define your chosen column names, their data types, and the location of their values in the MongoDB document. The details are beyond the scope of this video though, but you can find samples and help up on cdata.com. I hope you've enjoyed watching this short video on using the CData MongoDB ODBC driver with Excel. Please go to cdata.com and try out some of our other 50 plus drivers that simplify real-time access to online or on-premise applications, databases, and web APIs. And thanks for watching.